Hi, well today's the day I'm going to the hospital to have a colonoscopy. In case you don't know, a colonoscopy is an outpatient medical procedure where they look at your large bowel, including your colon and rectum, from the inside. Colonoscopies are used to identify unusual growths inside the colon called polyps. If the doctor sees any polyps during the procedure, he will remove them and analyze them under a microscope to make sure they're not the beginning of cancer. Most people begin screening for colon cancer when they turn 50 using an at-home test called the Fecal Occult Blood Test, or FOBT. Because there is a history of colon cancer in my family, my doctor sends me for a colonoscopy every five years. I'm filming my experience for friends who are nervous about their upcoming appointments. Since I've been through it before, I want to show them that there's nothing to worry about. I completed the prep as prescribed by my doctor. Taking the laxatives wasn't so bad. I booked yesterday off and stayed home. Just make sure you have a good book and your iPad nearby. My doctor said that cleaning as much stool as possible from my colon is crucial to a successful exam. So I made sure to complete the prep as directed by my doctor. Hey, my ride is here. This is my friend Nancy. She's driving me to my appointment because I can't drive home after the procedure. The medicine they use to sedate me makes it unsafe for me to drive. Nancy's going to hang out at the hospital and wait for me. I think we should get going. Good morning, how are you today? Not too bad. Can I have your name please? I'm Sandy Preston. Can I have your health card please? Is there any changes to your information? No. Any changes to your address or phone number? No. And who's here to take you home from your procedure today? My friend Nancy. Can I have her cell phone number please? It's 519-555-1212. Great. This is your number. You can go take a seat in the waiting area and the nurse will be with you shortly. Thanks very much. Number 27, please. Hello, follow me. Okay. Hello, my name is Sue. I'm going to be your nurse today looking after you during the procedure. Your name is? Sandy Preston. Nice to meet you, Sandy. Hi. Sandy, we're going to get you to change. We need you to take all your clothes off, put all the, your belongings in a bag. Put the gown on so it ties in the back. When you're finished with that, we're gonna get you to sit in the waiting room and when we're ready, we'll come and get you. Just have a few questions for you though. Uh, when was the last time you had something to eat or drink? About nine last night. Okay, and when was your last bowel movement? Early this morning, okay. and it was clear. Excellent, okay. and do you have any piercings? <laughs> no, I don't. Good, all right, <laughs> everybody laughs. All right, we'll get you to change, okay? okay? Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. I'm almost ready. When the nurse is ready for me, she'll complete the admission process by asking me some questions about my health, medications that I am taking, and then she'll check my heart rate, my blood pressure, and we'll put in an IV. That's how they will administer the sedation to make me feel relaxed and drowsy. Sandy. Wow, that was quick. Sandy, I'm going to check your blood pressure and your heart rate just to get a baseline before we get started, okay? Next, I'm going to get your IV started. You'll feel a little poke. This is the IV that we will use to give you your medication to help you relax through the procedure. I have a few individuals who decide not to have sedation, but most people choose to have it. The majority of people tolerate the procedure very well. Some don't even remember it afterwards. Before you go home, we'll take the IV out. Sandy, if you need to use the bathroom, it's located right over here. After the procedure, you may feel some stomach cramping, and that's perfectly normal. We want you to pass as much gas as you can, so don't be shy. <laughs> you may feel like you need to have a bowel movement. We will help you to the bathroom after the procedure. Let me know if you have any questions, and your doctor is going to speak with you before we begin. You will wait in a waiting room like this one until a stretcher bed is ready. You could be here for a few minutes, so it's a good idea to bring a book and try to make yourself comfortable. When they are ready for me, the procedure nurse will come and get me. I'm now in the procedure room, waiting for my doctor who's going to do the colonoscopy today. I think I hear him coming. Oh, hi Sandy. I'm Dr. Yan. How are you doing? 
I'm not too bad, a little nervous even though I've had one done before. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about the colonoscopy before we get started? I have a few. Um, how long will the procedure last? It takes about 15 or 20 minutes. Everybody's a little bit different, and so depending on how cooperative your colon is today, it can be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. And will I feel anything? You may. I need to put some air in while I'm doing the procedure to open up the colon so I can see polyps. With that air, you might get a gassy or bloaty feel to it. Some people's colons are a little bit twisty and some turns are kind of sharp. And so getting around those turns, you might be a little bit uncomfortable, but we'll have medications on board to keep you sedated and comfortable. Occasionally, if it's difficult to get around the colon, I have a nurse help me by putting some abdominal pressure on. And sometimes I actually change the position of the patient onto your back, maybe even onto your right side to get around. And who's going to be in the room? Myself and the endoscopy nurse. Okay. Do you have any other questions before we get started? Not that I can think of. Good. So before we get started, I need to go over the risks of colonoscopy with you. The major risk of colonoscopy is poking a hole called a perforation. The chance of that happening is pretty low. It's about one in a thousand. But if it does happen, I need to keep you in hospital, give you antibiotics, might need a surgeon to fix it with an operation. Anything else? Mm, nope, I don't think so. All right, I'll have you sign this consent form. And it's right down here. And one final check before we get started. This is our safety check. We have Sandy Preston here for colonoscopy. Consent is signed, no allergies. Correct. Good, let's get started. It's time for the doctor to deliver the sedation. We'll stop things here now. See you in a very short while. I'm in the recovery room now. It's over, but I'm still a little groggy. I'm going to be here for about 30 minutes for observation. I, I have to be mobile and able to dress myself before I can leave. Hi Sandy, everything went very well. I'm going to check your vitals your belly, and take your IV out. Would you like a drink first? Yes, please. Good. There you go. Sandy, here are your belongings. You can get dressed whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna get Nancy from the waiting room. How are you feeling, Sandy? Much better now. That's great. I'd like to talk to you about a few things you may experience over the next several hours. It's okay to resume a normal diet. You may continue to feel tired from the sedation for the rest of today. So for safety reasons, you shouldn't drive. We used air to expand your colon during the procedure. Until this air has passed, you may have some cramping. Walking helps. If you experience acute pain that doesn't go away or bleeding, give us a call. If it's after hours, you can page the GIA consultant on call. Here's the pamphlet with all the information I've gone over with you, with the phone numbers. Do you have any questions? Not right now. That's great. We'll see you in five years, Sandy. Well, that's it, colonoscopy 101. It's nothing like people think it will be. Most people I talk to say the same thing, that the preparation and fasting is the hardest part. It really is that easy. Nancy's going to drive me home, and I'm going to catch up on a little TV. And it's back to work tomorrow. I'm starving. Lunch is on me. Let's go, Nancy.